Hello everybody, it's Brandon again, and uh, with another Chrome OS Flex video. You have to uh, forgive me, I'm a little bit under the weather today. However, we still have things we need to test out on uh, Chrome OS Flex here. In this one, I'm going to test out uh, RetroArch, and I'm going to try to install this um, using flat packs. So if you haven't seen my video about how to get flat packs running on Chrome OS Flex, uh, check that out. It's on my channel here. So I'm going to go to Flat Hub. And I'm going to search for RetroArch. I'm pretty sure it's on here. There we go. And I'm just going to copy uh, my command. I need to install it. And you got to put sudo first before you do the installation command. So let's get that running. And I guess it's uh, fairly big altogether. So it might take a few moments to download and install. But yeah, like I said, if you haven't, if you want to get Flatpak support up and running on your Chrome OS Flex device, and probably regular Chrome OS too, I'm sure it works on both, check out my video on getting that set up. Because it's um, kind of the easy way to get Linux applications on them and if you go through the flat hub store there's just all kinds of stuff that's available for you to install so I highly recommend it oh cave story that's a fun game okay you know <clears throat> I don't want to make you guys wait through this, so I'm going to pause the video, and when this is done installing, we're going to come back to it. Okay, I've returned, and our install of RetroArch is done, so let's see if it loads up here. Let's, uh, it'll be under Linux apps, and there's RetroArch. No, oh, before I launch it, well, let's just see if it works. Then I'll show you what else I had to do. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay. We got our RetroArch. Now, in the file app, I did put a few ROMs on this thing for testing in this folder. I put a, one Super Nintendo, one regular Nintendo, and a uh, Sega Genesis ROM. But in order for it to be accessible in a Linux application, what you have to do is right-click on the folder and say... Well, we'll say share with Linux. I've already done it on this folder. So keep that in mind if you want your uh, ROMs on your device to be accessible from your Linux. So I'm going to, let's see, the first thing we've got to do is download some cores. And uh, do I gotta, actually, here's something we got to try. Okay, this doesn't work. I have an Xbox controller plugged in. <clears throat> this does not seem to be recognizing it. And maybe um, Linux doesn't recognize a controller plugged in to USB. That's possible. So that's going to uh, put a damper on our whole thing right off the bat here. And also with this, um, I usually have the uh, other theme on RetroArch. So I don't remember where all the menus are. But let's go to port 1 and see if it um, finds my pad at all. I don't think so. What do I press to go back? Is it C? X. Yeah, X. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get the gamepad to work, <coughs> unfortunately. Is this... That's something to keep in mind if you're trying to do this. I'll just back out. Now, at least see if we can get a ROM to play. No, what am I doing? I'm just trying to back up. <laughs> ah! Just bring me back to the main screen. Come on. I just want to download a core. 
That's all I want to do. Online updater. Oh, it was up top. Core downloader. Okay, now let's get a Nintendo. I don't know which one's best. We'll try this one. We got a Super Nintendo. That'll be fine. And I want a Sega. Yeah. Let's just try that. <clears throat> Alright, then we want to scan for... Okay, import content. Scan directory. It should be under mount, Chrome OS, my files, ROMs. Let's do it. Scanning finish. I wonder if it found anything. Nintendo. Ah, Lemmings. Let's try to play it. Unfortunately, I don't know what the keyboard controls are. I just fast forwarded it. <laughs> well, it works. It loads. It seems to be running. I'm going to close out of that, though. And I just quit off RetroArch. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with that anymore because the gamepad didn't work. In my opinion, without a gamepad, it's no good. But. You know, if any of you have gotten a gamepad to work in a Linux application in Chrome OS, just say something in the comments and we can test that out. Um, <clears throat> but to me, it's, what most people are going to do is just plug it in and hope it works. That's what I did. It doesn't work. So that's my rating on RetroArch at the moment. Uh, it runs keyboard only. No good for me. But if you have anything else you want me to test out, let me know in the comments. Or, uh, sorry guys, I'm just not feeling that good today. Maybe I ought to go rest or something. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.